Hello, everybody. I hope that you're doing well. I wanted to bring some good news to you that we um, got news of the capture of Matthew Edgar. Uh, he ended up being put on the Texas 10 Most Wanted Fugitive list in, I believe it was August. And I'm going to just show you this here, right? This is his photo. If um, if that reminds you at all of what he looks like. And it said that there was a reward up to 5,000. And then it goes on to say um, in details down below here that Matthew Edgar has ties to Sabine County, Texas in 2015. Edgar was convicted of evading arrest, detention, causing serious bodily injury, and was sentenced to three years of confinement and three years of probation. In 2020, he was arrested for murder and then subsequently arrested in 2021 for assault of a family member or a household member by impeding breath or circulation. In early 2022, he attended the initial days of his murder trial. And then as of January 26th of 2022, he did not show up. He was convicted um, he was sentenced to 99 years of confinement, right? So he ultimately was convicted uh, during that trial. He, he was found guilty. And that was in regards to the murder of, of, of Livy. Um, and so on January 27th, 2022, the Sabine County Sheriff's Office issued a warrant for Edgar's arrest for murder, right? So um, they said he should be considered armed and dangerous. And date of capture was, they put December 29th. And so um, I had heard this and I was like, oh, this is such good news. I mean, this is incredible. I couldn't believe that he's the one that walked out. If any of you um, don't remember, he walked out after uh, one of his days of trial. He's supposed to go back the next day. He did not. But he come walking out and he's smirking. He was smirking because he knew he was not going to be going back again. He knew what he was about to do. So this article says, convicted murderer Matthew Edgar, the Spine County man who has been on the run since January of this year, is alive and in jail. Officers say that Edgar was captured shortly after 8 on Thursday evening by deputies from the U.S. Marshal Service. Word is that Edgar, who was convicted of killing his girlfriend, 19-year-old Livy Lewis, in late 2020, was reportedly sitting on the back porch of a house not far from his mother's home, east in of Hemp Hill, smoking a cigarette when officers captured him. Officers say that he was immediately taken to the Sabine County Jail in Hemp Hill. Edgar, who was out of jail on a $50,000 bond, was last seen leaving the courtroom of the Sabine County Courthouse during his trial, where he was later found guilty and sentenced to 99 years in prison. Over the months, many have speculated that he had committed suicide or fled to Mexico. However, it turns out he was not far from where the jury found him guilty of the crime. In August of this year, 26-year-old Edgar had been added to the list of the 10 most wanted fugitives by the Texas Department of Public Safety. And I will show you this video here. Mm, I bet that uh, Livy's mother is just elated. Oh my goodness. We begin with breaking news. Fugitive murder suspect Matthew Edgar caught tonight near Hemp Hill on the run since he disappeared just before he was convicted of murder during his trial in Sabine County. What you are looking at right now, a picture of Matthew Edgar taken tonight by the Sabine County Sheriff's Office. The sheriff reporting he was captured around 830 tonight by the U.S. Marshal Service. He was immediately taken to the Sabine County Jail to await formal sentencing by the court. Mike Lout with our media partner KJAS telling KFDM Edgar was caught smoking a cigarette. He was caught not far from his mother's home near Hemp Hill. That sentence, 99 years in the Texas Department of Corrections for the murder of his girlfriend at the time, Livy Lewis. He attended his murder trial during those initial days in January, almost a year ago at the Sabine County Courthouse. 
He disappeared January 26. He had not been seen or heard from since then. A massive search underway since then, spanning several states. Law enforcement agencies searching in Southeast Texas and Beaumont and across the country. Once again, the breaking news tonight, Matthew Edgar is alive and in custody in Sabine County. That's so awesome. I love it. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm gonna show you one last video. In this one, I believe they do say that they had spoken with Livy's mother. Um, I believe is what uh, they do discuss in here. So let's give a listen. Tonight surrounding the manhunt for Matthew Edgar. He's the East Texas man right there, convicted of killing his girlfriend back in 2020. That's the last look of him there. He took off just three days into his own murder trial. Walked out of the courthouse, never came back. Today, an investigator for the Sabine County Sheriff's Office tells us they are following four new specific leads in their search that came in just today. He was out on bail during his own January murder trial and skipped out just days before jury found him guilty of killing his one-time girlfriend. KSLA News 12's Taylor Davis talked to the young victim's mother today who just wants one answer. Where is Matthew Edgar? Where is Matthew Edgar? I personally don't think that he's very far. That's the question. This is really interesting. Wow. So this video, this news, they had heard that there were tips about him. And so they ended up contacting it. So this is just before he ended up actually being captured. And so I would love a follow-up interview. I'm sure they're going to or already have um, and just haven't put it out yet. But a follow-up interview with Libby's mother um, after he's been captured. Wow. Oh, I'd love to hear what she has to say. So just, just keep this in mind. This is when they knew tips had just come in of him and thought that they were like cornering, you know, coming, getting close to getting, getting to him. Wow. Darcy Vasquez asking. She is the mother of Libby Lewis. Edgar was convicted in her 2020 murder in Sabine County. He's now a fugitive after not showing up to his third day of trial on January 27th. That same day, a jury sentenced him to 99 years in prison. He's been on the run for nearly a month. Never a million years would I think that um, that it would end up like this, that, you know, someone would commit a crime, you know, this heinous crime, and, and be able just to walk off and now almost a month later the sabine county sheriff's office investigator mcdonald says they have been following leads that left them empty-handed now he says his deputies are following four new leads libby's mother says she only wants justice for her daughter i thought i would get like a little bit of relief in the first day in the courtroom i did i got a little bit of relief i thought oh my gosh you know like they're going to be, they're doing this, you know, and, and then it just went south. Bass says her next step is to put up flyers around the county to serve as a reminder. He is still out there. He can't run from God and I believe in him. And I just ask people to, you know, if they see him or whatever, you know, just call the local authorities and um, report it. Um, do not kill him. You know, I will live on this earth suffering and, um, he should too. Taylor Davis, KSLA News 12. And if you have any leads uh, on to the whereabouts of Matthew Edgar, uh, call local police or call 911. It goes without saying it, but I'll say it anyway. He's considered armed and dangerous. Okay, so I don't know. The more I listened to that, the more it sounded um, like it was prior to prior to this recent, right? Like the, that could have been an old video but it doesn't say that it was an older one. So, um, and, and there's even like the next video that was coming on. It was a mother's plea for the convicted murderer to turn himself in. And there had been quite a few videos that had been done. She had even done an, uh, I think like a podcast interview in regards to him and, and his capture and desiring it. And I'm so happy. I'm so, I'm just elated for this, this mother. Oh, man, I mean, especially if you know the backstory of of her running into him at a, at a gas station um, convenient type store and actually going after him. Because, I mean, could you imagine you, you see him after knowing what he has done to your child, taking her life and oh, man. And then she ended up getting arrested for it. So 
Yeah, pretty incredible. I'm so thankful. But I did just want to pass on the good news. And if a video does come out from her, I will try to post it somewhere so that you guys are able to take a look at it um, and uh, take a look at what she has to say now that he's been captured. So this is awesome. Great news. I hope that you all have a good one. I will talk to you in my next video.